I believe you can become anything in this world. I believe you are the limit to whatever you can become. You just have got to stop giving your past power. You've got to stop giving the words people have spoken power and take back your power according to the will of God for your life. We cannot keep doing things our forefathers say to do right. Girl Get Up is about teaching a woman how to fight on her knees, but most of all getting to the front of the battle zone and fighting to the death until something changes. Zabuli is here to do something, not because she's amazingly talented, but because she has the courage to stand even when she has left. So you and me, woman, are the people God is waiting for to change the generation. Girl, get up, off the floor, to your knees, let's go change the nation in every aspect of life. Praise the name of King Jesus, everybody. My name is Zabuli. I'm a Ugandan female gospel artist. I love Jesus. And yes, um, why am I here today? Um, a few years ago, God started giving me instructions every year to do specific things. And I just noticed recently that it's been uh, evolving and evolving. It started as worship tours. Then it went into a talent search for young people. And then it went into schools for young people. But this year, God asked me to stand with young women. Girl, if you're a woman who loves Jesus or you plan to love Jesus or get interested in loving Jesus, please don't touch nothing. Just stay glued because we are just about to talk about big things. Someone would ask Zabuli why girl get up. What does it even mean? Um, over the years, um, I've learned that the woman is viewed as a weak person by majority, not everyone, but by majority. And I would like to think we, we, are not, we, we are not weak. We are helpers, but we can also be independently at the front line doing a lot of things. And I've noticed why well, you see one girl, there's five more girls, which means if there's one girl with the wrong mentality about life, the five girls are gonna be all in the same boat. And I wanna believe because it's what I really believe in I want to believe that the more women have been impacted by a certain thing is the more change comes about because they just have a nurturing spirit, yes? So I thought to my spirit, imagine a woman called Naomi and Ruth in the Bible. Imagine a woman called Esther. These women had to be taught how to fight before they became queens or became wives to somebody. I mean, Naomi had to mentor Ruth. Queen Esther had to be mentored by a team of people to say that she knows how to stand before a king. And I feel like in our generation, the woman has not gotten enough attention. I know there's a lot of conferences out there, but I've noticed they don't talk about the things that eat the silent majority, the silent minority. Or, and, and, and I want to believe Christ is more than just calling people and telling them about relationships with man. I want to believe because it's the thing eating the most women in the nation. The fact that many of them are battling self-esteem issues. Number two, they live by their past. Number three, they view themselves as people who are always waiting for somebody to save them. I know for a fact because Christ died for me and you. We have potential to change the nation. The more you keep waiting for somebody to come and change the nation or change a thing for you, you might be, you are the answer to the place you're in. And my, my spirit desires so much to raise any woman willing to stand in the gap to be the example many others are waiting for. We cannot just keep waiting for people to come and help us. No, it is time we got on our feet and got up and started fighting this battle such that the nation changes. When a mother is taught something, the family knows better. When a woman is taught, the nation is taught. What is my point? Girl Get Up is about woman. Get your fellow woman, teach them how to fight, roll on the same journey and be each other's keeper instead of this journey of every time bickering, every time in B for my relationship, my boyfriend, my money. We can get together and do something greater. I believe in this generation for crying out loud. We cannot keep doing things our forefathers failed to do right. You understand my point? So, Girl Get Up is about teaching a woman how to fight on her knees, but most of all, getting to the front of the battle zone and fighting to the death until something changes. Zabuli is here to do something, not because she's amazingly talented, no, but because she has the courage to stand even when she has less. 
So you and me, woman, are the people God is waiting for to change the generation. Girl, get up off the floor to your knees. Let's go change the nation in every aspect of life. What I mean is we are all equipped with rich, wealthy things within us that make us unique, that if we know how best to use them, it would make life easier for us. I mean, look at the world today. There are no jobs. Thousands are graduating and there is no job out there, but all of us have something unique in us. And I would love so much for us to polish the woman in you who has been broken by your past, who has been told you can never be nothing, who has been praying and nothing has been changing. We polish that, build your esteem, and then teach you how to do anything in life with your hands and your spirit, with your faith at the front. For example, we are going to have co uh, people come talk about jobs, job creation. We, we, we have people who are coming to, t to talk about baking. We have people coming to talk about saloon work and stuff. Uh, we have people talking about, uh, there's a woman I know who does a lot of creative work, like um, you can, she can get rubbish and do something good about it and then sell stuff out of it. My point is, we are not just going to talk God. We are going to talk God and give you a solution to how you can do your life better. And if only you can do your life better, you have self-confidence because you have power in your life to do something. You have the confidence of holding something and turning it into something you desire it to become. So what are you going to earn out of what, I'm, what we are trying to do? It's simple. You're going to learn how to be self-reliant, but learn that after you learn how to fight on your, on your knees, stand on your feet, go grab whatever God wants you to become in life. We can't keep waiting for people, like I say, to come and save us. We are the saviors. People are waiting for out there. There's a lot of broken people that don't know Christ. You are broken, but you know Christ. How about you let God use the ugliest pieces in you, build you, then take you to a place where people who don't know him look at you and they want to become what you've become. I believe you can become anything in this world. I believe you are the limit to whatever you can become. You just have got to stop giving your past power. You've got to stop giving the words people have spoken power and take back your power according to the will of God for your life. The Bible says you're wonderfully created. The Bible says he, he, he has plans to prosper you. That means if you're in a stagnant position, there is something that is not right. God wants to use that. God wants you to give it all. In this particular uh, place we are going to be meeting as girls, it's going to be a girls' night out. I really believe your life will never be the same again. The question is, are you ready to move from that mountain? Or are you okay being mediocre? Are you okay being uh, somebody else's worker? Are you okay working for less than what you deserve? I mean, are you tired of it? This is your place to be. Come, let's build each other. Come, let's learn from each other. But most of all, come, let us hold each other accountable in the presence of God for the woman of modern day in Jesus Christ. I believe you can become anything in this world. I believe you are the limit to whatever you can become. You just have got to stop giving your past power. You've got to stop giving the words people have spoken power and take back your power according to the will of God for your life. We cannot keep doing things our forefathers say to do right. Girl Get Up is about teaching a woman how to fight on her knees, but most of all getting to the front of the battle zone and fighting to the death until something changes. Zabuli is here to do something, not because she's amazingly talented, but because she has the courage to stand even when she has left. So you and me, woman, are the people God is waiting for to change the generation. Girl, get up off the floor to your knees. Let's go change the nation in every aspect of life.